What's going on YouTube? Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to make custom jerseys with a vinyl and a heat press. My name is Bobby Tanak, and I'm the owner of Aesthetic Imprints, which is a custom apparel printing company based in Frederick, Maryland, and we specializing in screen printing. And I'm just a 21-year-old screen print shop owner out of my parents' basement, and I'm just documenting my journey. And in this video, we're going to show you how to make custom jerseys from start to finish. So let's go. In order to do custom jerseys, you need a vinyl cutter and a heat press. Once you have that, you want to get the information from your client and get all the numbers and names. In this case, there's no names. It's just a team name and custom numbers. So you want to get those custom numbers into the program and get them vectorized and ready to cut. Then all you do is send each and every design to cut. After that, they should come out like this after being weeded. But when you first cut it, it's going to come out like this and you have to manually weed it, each and every number. And what you want to do is grab your tool and pick one end and start weeding. It should be easy, but it's a tedious job just because you have to get all the details and little nicks and corners out for each and every print, by the way. That's how heat press and vinyl works. Sometimes it can be a pain. But as you can see, everything just starts to peel off. The design remains just like that. I'm going to speed this up just so you guys aren't bored. There you have it. So you have to do that, repeat that for each and every jersey, front and back. And there you have it. Once you get all the vinyls cut out, you wanna lay it out and get it all organized. These are all the ones that we're doing. So this is the front, this is the back, front, back, front, back, just like that. So it's all organized and you know exactly what you're printing and you don't do any mess ups. And yes, you do have to weed each and every one of these and cut them out each separately. Now, I know what you may be thinking that this looks like a headache to weed and cut each and every one of these. It's not as bad as it looks. Well, it is pretty bad, but that is why you're supposed to charge a little bit more than what you usually do because this is a lot of tedious work that you have to do. And screen printing this would be the bigger headache because you'd have to make about 20 screens just to do this. And this is only for 10 jerseys and you had to do this much. But at the end of the day, it does turn out well, and let's go print this. All right, guys, these are the tank tops that we are printing on, and unfortunately, I just pulled this out the box, and one of them is ripped, as you can see. Like, how does that even, I don't understand, but these vendors have just been a biggest headache lately. I don't know what's going on. They've just been messing up a lot, and this is not the type of thing that they should be messing up on because this was a rush order, and I needed this done today. But it's a good thing that I ordered an extra size in this large. And it was just, I just got so lucky that I ordered an extra one in the large. So we're good on that. All right, guys, now what you want to do is get the jerseys, put them in. Make sure you have the right size jersey for the right size number. Because if you get, uh, if let's say you had a number 20, on a size medium is what you need it on, but you print it on a small, you're screwed. Because you have to make sure that you're printing on the right um, size. Or else it goes really bad, especially with custom stuff like this. You wanna center that up. Get a ruler to make sure it's centered. your sheet and I do about 15 seconds under here just to make sure it's cured not cured but stuck onto the shirt so you wait and then you peel it off right away with this vinyl it's hot peel and then you just 
few. And you do the same for the back. Make sure it's centered. Same thing. Okay. This one leaves about three inches on each corner, each edge. This shirt, the red shirts and stuff, I've noticed that they get darker when you apply this. But as soon as you let it sit for a little bit, the darkness goes away. I'll show you in a second what I mean. There you have it. But this is what I mean when I say darkness. You see that? But don't panic because once the shirt itself cools down, this will match up. And that's how you make custom jerseys. Alright guys, and the jerseys are done just like that. It was 10 of them, and they turned out great. And the client will be picking them up shortly. There you have it guys, the jerseys turned out great. The client actually reached out to me to get these jerseys done yesterday. So he placed the order, either, it was either yesterday or the day before. So he needed them today, because they have a game today and tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday. And their jerseys was not arriving because of COVID. And they were, he was desperate because he wanted his kids to have some jerseys to play with or else they would just be there playing with random t-shirts. And this is nearly impossible to do in one to two days, but I saw that he cared for his um, players and he wanted to get it done. So I said, yeah, sure, we'll get it done. We paid to get the sh items. I paid to get the items shipped to me as quick as possible and we knocked it out and I'm glad we did. So today the players will be playing with these jerseys at noon. And I also threw in an extra jersey for the coach himself. Just because I saw him, he, he really cared for his teammates. So I threw in an extra jersey for him with his number for free. So yeah, this is, this is great. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. And that is how you make custom jerseys. I know it's a tedious job, but it's doable. All you need is a vinyl cutter and heat press. And you can get the job done. The weeding, in my opinion, is the worst part. But printing it is actually pretty fun. So please like, share, subscribe. Let me know down in the comment section what other video recommendations you'd like to see. And I'll see you in the next one.